How does it feel to work with me? Um. Mm. <laughs> How does it feel to work with you? People have asked me, um, how do you how do you work with your husband? Is it how not? do you work with your husband? They I haven't find... answered the question, so yeah, I should answer the question. Um, if I, I'm excited, it's it's exciting. Um, it doesn't feel like work. That's the problem. Like it just doesn't feel like work. Is it a problem though? I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing. It is a good thing. It doesn't doesn't feel like work. Maybe well, no, it could be a problem because it then maybe there's an element of not taking it seriously. I'm just thinking out loud here, by the way, so I don't know what I'm talking about, right? But um, it's exciting, but it doesn't feel like work is how it feels. That's my answer. It's at the moment, because the last three years, this has been a a hobby or a passion project that we've both kind of been working on independently. And now we're just aligning what we're doing, because you know so much about Pharmacist Diaries. You've been part of the journey obviously, from the first day I created its name and came up with the logo and everything. Um, and we started that journey together because you had initially got your podcast around the same time. Um, so I guess we've been growing in the life of an entrepreneur for some time now. But actually working together for me has been so easy. I think I've given you a lot of kind of creative freedom in terms of what the podcast looks like. And I've just, again, just trust your abilities and your skills. And that's made it easy for me to just say, that's not my job. That's your job. Um, and yeah, let you do your magic um, rather than getting involved too much with the ins and outs of, I guess, video editing. Yeah. Yeah, um, that definitely has helped because I don't have someone coming back and going, oh, this should be this color or they should be look like this or this should look like that. It's like I just do, like I said, it just when I have to create a reel, I'm like, oh, what can I do? What, what fun thing can I try next? And again, I'm just experimenting as well. So they, that what people are going to see is going to be very different. I make no apologies for that. It's just me having fun. Um, me seeing what works, you know, sometimes we put a short out and it gets 3000 views and we're like, oh, I wonder why that happened. And another one gets 300 views or it gets three views, right? We just, we don't know what's working right now. So it's just about having fun. And I think that's part for me. I get to have more fun. Why would I not do it? Right? I get to do the thing that I love to do, which is create content using video, right? So that's the first most important thing. Then I get to edit that video, which is again, part of the process that's fun for me and then i get to create lots of different types of content with that video so there's long form there's the short form clips and there's going to be this the even shorter form uh, vertical uh, video um so just getting to do more of that it's like having a reason to do it right it's like anyone can create content for the sake of creating content right but very few people do that it's like as a i've had a camera for a while but taking photos for the sake of taking photos is just something I don't do enough of. And it's also, you think, oh, it's a, it's a time thing. Whereas now I get to create videos and create all this content because there's a purpose. It goes out on pharmacy stories and actually helps people. So, um, it's, it's definitely fun. Um, it can feel overwhelming at times because there's a lot to do. And even sitting here right now, I'm looking at my notion and can see the number of episodes that people have no idea how many episodes that have not been released, um, that have been recorded, um, and how many we've got coming up that have going to be recorded. We've literally, I think we worked out we've got, we'll have content for the rest of the year. Is that right? Did we work?